Here we are, back at Smith Harbour on the Auckland Islands. Our mission for today is to measure the diameter of some rata trees. Well, the reason we're measuring these rata trees is to find out how old they are, potentially, but also to learn more about the site that we're, we're thinking of doing, having a research station on. Uh, because these trees are so big, it tells us this is, this is a stable site. And Auckland Islands is really equivalent to Timberline, you know, because we're so far south, what we're looking at is trees that are growing on the edge of their tolerance. This is a rata tree. And this is a rata tree. This is another rata tree. This is still the same rata tree. These rata trees look so different from the ones in New Zealand. Why is that? Well, that's a really good question. Because on the mainland, you see rata and pahutakawa, they're closely related, they grow as tall, tall forest trees. And they'll often have just a single trunk or several trunks, but they'll be very upright. But here, they can't grow upright. There's cold winds um, that blow almost constantly, and it's, it's, it's not a good condition for plants to put on high growth. So they're growing horizontally. And the spread that we've been measuring shows that they have been growing horizontally for hundreds and hundreds of years and so they're really, really big old trees, despite the fact that they look really short. And we think we've found the biggest. <laughs> this is it, the biggest rata tree, taking up 580 square meters. <laughs>